Good evening, Pipers. Welcome back. It is Martin from Over a Pipe. I am so glad to have y'all back. I'm so glad to be back. Uh, you know, life, life does things. Life does things. It's great. I have not been gone taking acting classes to give you better enjoyment with these videos. I have not been going and building up my cellar to make sure that I have an abundance of tobaccos for your reviewing pleasure. I have not been gone. But that's, that's a whole nother story. So, so glad to have you back. Uh, we've got some really cool stuff going on. I, I have come to find out there's a reason people actually do videos on Saturdays and Sundays and, you know, working predominantly throughout Monday through Friday. It's tough. It's tough to do weekly videos, but you know, it's fun. This is why we do it. This is why, this is why you come to watch this show. In fact, I don't know why you come to watch this show because there's a whole bunch of better shows, but who cares? Who cares? This is a great show. It's dynamic. It's great. It's wonderful. The board is back. We have the board. We got the board up there. So yeah, let's, let's get started. What are we doing? This is the HH Burley Flake that I got down in Austin, Texas at the, at Pipe World. Same place I got the haunted bookshop as well because this is the month of burleys this is the burley month so super excited to do that i will be smoking this burley in what is typically my english pipe however as we are progressing to english blends uh they are this the ghosting shouldn't be much of an issue so this is my nice sitter and is just so lovely in terms of being able to help me you see a little pitting right there that's just character that's all that is some character but such a pretty grain on that pipe absolutely love it uh, but it's a sitter so it does help when i'm doing some of the reviews helps me put it down i don't have to have a pipe stand or anything we'll be using the classic zippo there you go we got life fluid my tamper of choice will be my 300 wind mag Please do not use a loaded round. I will be smoking. Oh, we know that. We know that. My drink of choice is mm. Dewar's White Label Scotch Whiskey Blended. Blend. It is a blend. So yeah. So we. So I'm excited. You know, we're we're popping some reviews. Uh. Oh my gosh. I am so glad the weather. It's finally cooling off here in the southeast so i am super excited about the weather football season is you know really you know we are we're hitting the stride on football season that is great i don't know it's a good time it's a good time work is stressful it always is at this time of year so that's all right that's all right because we have each other to smoke our pipes with so yeah so let's pop in that hh burley flake which is the review today i love this gold i swear this is like very willy wonka type i've got a golden ticket um real nice wonderful packing real nice flakes look at that oh my real nice flakes so i'm gonna pull one out i'm gonna break it up Oh, let me, let me, let me get my packaging back the way it was supposed to be. Break it up. Yep. We've got that. And again, for all of you that want to see that flake up close and personal. Very nice. Very nice. Pretty flake. I think I'm just going to go, it's, you know, it's not terribly moist. It's, it's had some time. I think I'm just going to do the fold and stuff. This is, Peterson's make pretty, pretty decent deep bowls. So, yeah, no problem there. Mm. 
There we go. There we go. There we go, everybody. I am I am terribly excited to, to be able to get a video out. Is it's it's just tough. Ah, oh, yes. So, how's everybody been? I've seen some videos from everybody. Padres out there. Uh, Derek Tant is out there, uh, up in Nashville visiting his brothers. Sorry, I couldn't make that. I really have no excuse except for just work and all kinds of stuff going on with family. Uh, where I just don't have the time. Would love to, though. Would love to get over there with all you folks. Look like a pretty good turnout. The burr. Good nuttiness to this blend. Oh, I missed that. <laughs> yeah, this is good stuff. This is really, uh, really good stuff. I gotta make sure I don't hit my, hit my mic. Don't want to get any static on here. Static. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I'm okay with the Burleys. They're just, they're not my favorite. This one burns really well, though. If you crack the tin, it is just, well, you know what? Let's, let's go ahead and get into it. So talking about, talking about HH Burley Flake. So blend type, obviously this is a Burley. This is a vacuum seal type, as you can see from the sides. This does a vacuum seal, not like, for instance, the Briar Fox, one of the ones that we're going to be looking at here soon, which uh, has a food grade seal. I really prefer these. You'll see a lot of, uh, for instance, some of those older McClellans and those food grade seals. And you'll see them swell up. These don't really have that capability to swell. Uh, if this if this swells significantly enough, it is just going to it's going to break that seal. Seal uh, as in terms of just pressurized seal. Hmm. Excuse me. So yeah, so we have the. Uh, blend type, which is a burly. However, this one does have, uh, this is a burly blend. It's a burly dominated, dominated, dominated. Hmm. <laughs> this is a burly, this is a PG show, everybody. A burly dominated flake containing tobaccos from three continents. Besides Burley, this flake also contains ripe Virginias and a small portion dark fired Kentucky. Okay. I really am trying to do, you know, primary primary blends based off the seasonal uh without too much mixed into it though when i saw that in austin i had to pick it up just had to it was a good store good shop bunch of good people so i wanted to pick something up but yeah so it's a flake um it does have it is a blend so it's not just burly though it is dominated dominated 
Um, I would say this is probably, I'd probably say it's on the, uh, mid, mid range, mid range. I'd probably say it's, it's, it's slightly, slightly wet on the mid range, which is fine. That's great. I mean, it's makes it real quick and easy to dry out a little bit. It's, it's sat for just a, a couple days and boom, there you go. Strength. I wouldn't say there's anything particular about the strength of it. Um, I don't get any kind of nick hits or anything like that. At least I personally don't, but I mean, some, you know, your mileage may vary. Your mileage may vary. But nicotine wise, I'd say the strength is probably medium to low. Medium to low is probably where it's at. Flavoring, no. No, no flavoring. Uh taste, um, it's 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 moderate. It's moderate to full. I mean it's it's a burly blend. You know, I feel like it has a little bit fuller. It's obviously gonna be more full than your Virginia's. There's definitely a good mouthfeel to it. A nice strong, 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 nice strong mouthfeel to it. Those Virginias are really hiding uh, within the Burley as well as the Kentucky. So, I mean, the, the it's very overpowering on the Burley. So, if you are a significant Burley fan, this is this is your jam right here. Yeah, this is good. I, I definitely like it. Uh, 10 note. Let me see if I can remember. To bring it back. Hmm. Okay, so you can definitely get some of the smell of the Virginia and the Kentucky. The Burley has, you know, that typical, that typical Burley smell, I guess you would say. Almost a cigarette kind of smell uh but i i really enjoy it i think it has a i think it has a pleasant tin note it's it's a mild tin note so i say tin note definitely tolerable room note uh it's tolerable to me my wife she feels like it's more of a cigarette type type smell But it's good. I mean, it has a good full flavor. Those Virginias really do try to hide uh, amongst that burley. So it's when they say dominated, they're not joking. I mean, they are they are dominated. So, but you know what? It's great. I like it. Will it smoke? Yes, it is. It is absolutely going to smoke. And now I've got a pick. Do I go Cornell and Deal, the Briar Fox, or do I? jackknife plug that thing or do I hit the old weird dude or do we do a little more HH you know what I might save this HH I might I might save that that one might get put aside for a while maybe 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 not sure but you're gonna know as soon as that first impression video comes out hey this is Martin from over a pipe we're reviewing H&H &H Burley Flake. Why don't you go get you a tan, stick it in your pipe, and smoke it. <laughs> Dominator. <laughs> Three continents. How about that? 